Fort Horstead was built in 1889 to defend Chatham, a vital naval dockyard. Although never saw combat, there were a number of reported fatalities and tragic events which occurred there. The fort itself was originally designated a penal work camp. It was built using forced convict labour. In 1889, six convicts who were working to build the fort's tunnels died during a cave-in. Other convicts started digging immediately, but their bodies were not able to be recovered for 12 hours. On another occasion, a prison warden named Wallace stumbled whilst climbing a platform. His rifle went off, injuring his forehead and blowing off part of his nose. The fort's history seemed a good starting point for an investigation, during which we recorded many strange events but none as strange as the object manipulation you're about to see. Deep inside the fort are a number of water tank rooms. These are underground, connected by a single tunnel. A parabolic dish was set up on a tripod, recording audio coming from the tunnel. The parabolic dish you see was firmly attached to the tripod. There was no wind in the chamber, and the parabolic audio did not pick up any noise prior to the movement. The audio you hear, that click, is coming from the parabolic dish itself, proving that there's no rush of air, which would have been picked up by the sensitive device. Considerable energy would have been needed to move this object. You can see the jerkiness of the movement as the twisting of the dish is forced against its mount. There was much more caught at Fort Horstead, so please subscribe to this channel to see what else we found. Thanks for watching.